Hello everyone and welcome back to UPSC Daily by Nimish. We are continuing our species in new series and we are going to cover topic 181 to 190. This is the part of 400 important topics for prelims 2024. The first topic for today is Mithun. Mithun animal, uh, it's found mostly in Northeast India. It has actually got a food animal tag from the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, FSSAI. The Mithun or Gayal, uh, the scientific name of the same is Bos frontalis, is considered as a descendant of the Indian gaur or bison. It's, it's a descendant of Indian gaur or bison. It plays an important role in the socio-economic and cultural life of tribes such as Nishi, Apatani, Galo and Adi in Arunachal Pradesh. So primarily found in Arunachal, a lot of areas in Northeast, but specific significance for the people and the tribes of Arunachal Pradesh. It is distributed in Northeast India, Bangladesh, Northern Myanmar and in Yunnan, China. The conservation status is IUCN Red List Vulnerable vulnerable and cites appendix one the second topic of today is the stump tailed monkey stump tailed monkey well the stump tailed macaque or monkey also called as beer macaque is species of old world monkey found in south asia the scientific name is macaca arctoids arctoids okay habitat they are found in tropical and subtropical evergreen forest. Conservation status is IUCN red list again vulnerable. Vulnerable. Uh, and Wildlife Protection Act Schedule 2. Schedule 2. So just to repeat, in the previous lecture we had talked about the Wildlife Protection Act 1972, six schedules. There was an Act Amendment Act in 2022 which had amended six schedules into four uh, there was a confusion with respect to notification of the same but it had been notified last year remember that those now six schedules in the wildlife protection act has become now four schedules i have updated the same on my telegram page uh, upsc daily by nimish you can go and see the updated part thank you so, the monkeys are native to Cambodia, Southwest China, Northeast India, Laos, Myanmar, Northwest Peninsula, Malaysia, Thailand and Vietnam. In India, it is mainly found south of Brahmaputra River in the northeastern part of the country. It, its range in, in India extends from Assam and Meghalaya to eastern Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram and Tripura. Features, they have thick long dark brown fur and short tails they have bright pink or red faces which darken or brown or nearly black as they age and are exposed to sunlight males are larger than females males have elongated canine teeth compared to females they eat fruit leaves seeds insects and small animals like frogs they have cheek pouches to store food and they travel uh, quadrupedally usually on the ground as they are not very agile in trees unlike most of the macaques are. The next is the pygmy hog. So pygmy hog is the smallest and rarest species of wild pig in the world. It is one of the very few mammals that build its own home or nest complete with a roof. Even they have their roof. So it's one of the very few mammals who build their own home and have a com it make it complete with a roof. It is an indicator species as its presence reflects the health of its primary habitat, tall and wet grass grasslands. Its habitat, it, it prefers undisturbed patches of grassland dominated by early succession riverine communities, typically comprising dense tall grass intermixed with wide variety of herbs, shrubs and young trees. Currently, the viable population of this pig in the wild is in Manas Tiger Reserve in Assam. Conservation status is critically endangered. 
critically endangered i'm pointing it out critically endangered wildlife protection act 1972 schedule 1 asiatic wild dog also known as dhol physical features large carnivores that resembles a small wolf or a domestic dog in size unlike dogs they have a rust red to brown coat and the ears are rounded with fur it is distributed in south and central asia and russia and india the species inhabit southern part of indo gangetic plains eastern and western ghats north eastern india and some part of ladakh threat is that they have loss of prey base they are not getting enough prey is in because the prey base is uh, getting loss habitat loss and transformation they are also vulnerable to multiple diseases threat from domestic dogs conservation is iucn red list status is endangered it is also included in sites appendix 2 habitat they inhabit a wide variety of habitat types that include primary secondary and degraded forms of tropical dry and moist deciduous forest evergreen and semi evergreen forest dry thorn forest scrublands etc wide variety of uh um, the overall habitat in india the species inhabits tropical dry and moist deciduous forest supporting adequate prey base it is the only endangered wild pack live in canada in the tropical indian forest the next is the gangetic river dolphin so gangetic river dolphin is it is a freshwater species and one of few river dolphins found in the world and it inhabits ganges brahmaputra meghna and karna phuli sangu river systems of nepal india and bangladesh common names blind dolphin ganges dolphin ganges susu hihu side swimming dolphin south asian river dolphin the gangetic dolphin has been recognized as india's national aquatic animal the conservation status is iucn endangered wildlife protection act schedule 1 and sites appendix 1 so let's go uh, uh, you know into more detail of it since a lot of questions in past have been asked around it so primarily as i have told ganga brahmaputra karnaphuli sangu river basins and the tributaries in india nepal and bangladesh so this is the region as you can see on the map of the uh, country and the south asia habitat slow flowing fresh water rivers mostly in the plains often sited at river confluences life span of these are 18 to 12 22 years in wild they swim on their sides unlike other cetaceans so they swim on their sides population is approximately 35 to 400 or uh, 3500 to 4000 they have poor eyesight almost blind can only sense light darkness so weight is 150 to 170 kg long pointed beak with sharp curving teeth visible even when beak is closed so this is even visible they eat fish shrimp possibly turtles and birds they are also known as susu locally because of the sound it produces when surfacing or breathing so they use echolocation that is the use sound to hunt find foods avoid boats and navigate through turbid murky waters they use high frequency clicks to communicate with others females are larger than males in them they give birth once every 2 to 3 years to one calf after 9 to 10 month gestation period mostly seen alone or in pairs but many live in groups of under 10 threats they increase motorboat traffic in the rivers dredging to widen and deepen river channels so dredging to taking it uh, you know the sand out of water to make it deep is a problem hunting for meat and oil is also being done for development activities such as construction of dams and barrages entanglement in fishing nets pollution from industries and settlements and overfishing are the major threats which the indian river dolphin uh, gangetic river dolphin is facing conservation it is declared india's national aquatic animal in 2013 granted non human personhood with rights project dolphin started in 2020 to conserve species in 1991 vikramshila gangetic dolphin sanctuary set up along the ganga in bihar to conserve the species of Ga- ganga river dolphin so these were some additional details of Uh, the species sea buckthorn so sea buckthorn uh, has been in news so it's a, a plant species so so we are covering both flora and fauna right so species in news so 
Ladakh has recently earned its fourth GI indication tag for Ladakh sea buckthorn. So the cultivation of sea buckthorn is exceptionally lucrative in Ladakh with the region contributing to 90% of its overall production. So what is a sea buckthorn? The sea buckthorn shrub yields edible berries with an orange yellow hue. This plant is native to Himalayan region in India, particularly thriving in arid environment like the cold deserts of Ladakh and Spiti. The cultivation of sea buckthorn brings forth numerous ecological, medicinal and economic advantages. There are six benefits of sea buckthorn. They are source of omega-3, 6, 7 and 9 fatty acids. It neutralizes free radicals in the body, nourishes skin from inside out, extremely high in vitamin C. It improves mental clarity and supports healthy digestion. The red sanders, red sanders is another important uh, uh, flora uh, in news. So it is IUCN has recently categorized uh, red sandalwood or red sanders again into endangered category. So red uh, 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 sanders usually grow in the rocky, degraded and fallow lands with red soil and hot and dry climate. The species is an Indian, uh, so the scientific name is Petro. Uh, Pterocarpus santalinus is an Indian endemic tree species. So it is endemic to India with a restricted geographical range in the eastern Ghats. The threats illicit, uh, there are threats like illicit felling or for smuggling, forest fires, cattle grazing and other anthropogenic threats. It is high in demand across Asia for its cosmetics and medicinal products. It was classified as near threatened earlier. Now it is endangered. IUCN is an international organization as we've discussed and protection status as discussed is endangered sites appendix 2 and wildlife protection act schedule 2. Jaguars. So jaguars uh, have been in news this is the third largest cat predator of the world and an important species of Amazon rainforest. Jaguars uh, Panthera onca are often mistaken for leopards. So there is we'll come to the differences here but can be differentiated due to the spots within the rosettes on their coats. We'll look at in particular. While many cats avoid water, jaguars are great swimmers and have been even known to swim Panama Canal. Jaguar, Panthera onca, is the scientific name. Size, uh, weight is 50 to 110 kg and status is near threatened. The largest cat in the Americas, the jaguar has the strongest bite force of all wild cats enabling it to bite directly through the skull of its prey uh, their melanistic black means where the uh, you know the melanistic where melanin the uh, in the skin is more jaguars are commonly and often called black panthers so this is the difference between leopards and jaguars if you can see jaguars panthera onca leopards are panthera pardus the near threatened and vulnerable uh, leopards 36 to 158 kg 50 to 110 vary 17 to 90 so they are lighter in weight leopards whereas jaguars are heavier and stronger central and south america is where they are mostly found uh, and african parts of asia where leopards are found aquatically inclined so they can swimmers they are expert climbers they can climb trees the leopards they have rosettes with inner spots if you can see there are inner spots in between this is the uh, uh, differentiation between a leopard and a jaguar, whereas there is no inner rosette spots. Goldfish. Goldfish, Gujarat recently has declared the black spotted croaker, locally known as goldfish as a state fish. Goldfish is also known as sea gold for its high market value. Uh, IUCN status is near threatened, so it is near threatened, NT. And habitat is Persian Gulf to Pacific Ocean. The last uh, species of the date we are covering is sturgeon. The convention sites, you know, in 1998 listed the species as endangered and put restrictions uh, of sturgeons from Danube and Black Sea. So IOC and Red list, there are six species of sturgeon in Danube River. Five of them are now listed as critically endangered. Five out of six of sturgeons are critically endangered. Their habitat is 27 species of sturgeons and paddlefishes distributed across northern hemisphere, particularly Danube River uh, is where 
in western europe where the this species is found sturgeons represent natural heritage of danube river basin and key indicator species were for high ecological quality of rivers threats are blocked the migration routes through dams loss or degradation of habitats and pollution sites appendix 2 is the status as per sites so these are overall species in news which we've covered uh 10 more to go which we'll cover in the next session to download this document please visit the telegram page uh, upsc daily by nimesh where you can download the document and uh, do give the feedback and also do subscribe the channel uh, and for the next video we'll come uh, with the video very shortly thank you so much